Fifth rule is the sum and difference rule. So we have here the derivative of u plus minus v with respect to x is equal to the derivative of u with respect to x plus or minus the derivative of v with respect to x. In example, say we have the derivative of x squared plus 2x plus 1 with respect to x. Okay. By uh, the sum and difference rule, we have will have the derivative of x squared with respect to x plus 2 multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x and then plus the derivative of 1 with respect to x. So to simplify this more, so we have in the first term, the derivative of x squared with respect to x, according to the fourth rule, the power rule, we'll have here 2 multiplied to x raised to 2 minus 1. Since we all know that the derivative of x is equal to 1, we can write there times or multiplied to 1. Then plus the derivative of the second term so we have here 2 so just copy it and then what is the derivative of x with respect to x according to the second rule okay it is equal to 1 then on the third term we have the derivative of 1 with respect to x or so according to the first rule the derivative of any constant is equal to 0 so we have there plus 0 then simplifying this this um, given so we'll have 2 multiplied to x plus um, yung 2 raised to 1 it will be equal to 1 so kahit hindi natin siya ilagay and then plus the second term which is yung 2 multiplied to 1 so which is equal to 2 so can we combine like terms here or do we have like terms okay so there is none so this will be the final answer. 2x plus 2 is the derivative of the given function. Okay, for the second example, for sum and difference rule, we have the derivative of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So, distributing again the derivative on each term. So, we'll have the derivative of, I, I mean, 4 since it's a constant, let's take it outside. So, 4 multiplied to the derivative of x squared with respect to x plus 4 multiplied to the derivative of x with respect to x and then plus the derivative of 1 with respect to x. Okay? Applying uh, the power rule in the first term. So, just copy the constant 4. So, applying the power rule, we have here 2 multiplied to x squared minus 1. And then, for the second term, plus, copy the constant 4, the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1, so times 1. And then, plus, the derivative of the constant 1, so that is equal to 0. So, kahit di na natin siya isulat. Now, let's simplify so, uh, we have 4 multiplied to 2x. So, may exponent tayo na 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, as is na natin yan na 2x. And then plus 4 multiplied to 1 which is equal to 4. Now, multiplying 4 by 2x will have 8x plus 4. And that is the uh, derivative of the given function. Sixth rule, the product rule. The derivative of uv with respect to x is equal to u multiplied to the derivative of v with respect to x plus v multiplied to the derivative of u with respect to x. In example, we have the derivative of 2x plus 1 multiplied to x plus 2 with respect to x. Okay, following the product rule, so the value of u is 2x plus 1 and the value of v is x plus 2. Okay, let's follow the uh, rule. So we'll have the value of u which is 2x plus 1 
and then multiplied to the derivative of 2 of x plus 2. Kasi yun yung value ng v natin. With respect to x, and then plus the value of v, which is x plus 2, multiplied to the derivative of u, so the derivative of 2x plus 1, with respect to x. Okay, applying the um, previous rules, so lalo dito sa derivative of x plus 2 natin, and dun sa derivative ng 2x plus 1. So, copy muna natin yung 2x plus 1, multiplied to the derivative of x, with respect to x is equal to 1, then plus the derivative of 2, which is a constant, so it is equal to 0. So, 1 plus 0. And then plus, just copy, x plus 2, and then we have here the derivative of 2x. So, the we are taking out the constant, so we'll have 2, multiplied to the derivative of x with, with respect to x, so it will be equal to 1, and then plus, um, what is the derivative of the constant 1? So that is equal to 0. Then let's simplify. So we have 2x plus 1 multiplied to 1 plus 0, and 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, and if you multiply to 2x plus 1, it will just be equal to 2x plus 1. And then plus x plus 2. Um, we have on the second factor 2 multiplied to 1 plus 0. So just disregard the 0. And then we have 2 times 1 here. So it will be equal to 2. So 2 multiplied to x. So it will be equal to 2x. And then plus 2 multiplied to 2, which will be equal to 4. And now in here, we can combine like terms. So we have 2x plus 2x, so it will be equal to 4x. And then positive 1 and positive 4, so when we add it, it will be equal to 5. So the answer is, or the derivative of the given function is 4x plus 5. Okay, for the second example, the derivative of 2x minus 5 multiplied to 3x minus 7 with respect to x. Okay, the value of u, so label muna natin, is yung 2x minus 5, and then the value of v is 3x minus 7. And then again, following the product rule, so we'll have 2x minus 5 multiplied to the derivative of v, which is 3x minus 7 with respect to x, plus the value of v, which is 3x minus 7, then multiplied to the derivative of u, which is 2x minus 5 with respect to x. Okay, um, let us uh, simplify again by applying the previous formula. So let's just copy first 2x minus 5. And then we have here the derivative of 3x minus 7. So that will be equal to 3 minus 0. Because the derivative of 3x, so it's the constant 3, and then multiplied to the derivative of x, which is equal to 1. So that's why we had 3 and then minus 7, so 7 is a constant, the derivative of it is 0, according to the first rule. Then plus, just copy 3x minus 7. And then we have here the derivative of 2x. So take out the constant outside the derivative, so we'll have 2. And then uh, multiply the derivative of x, which is equal to 1. And 2 times 1 is 2, so that's why we had we have 2 there, and then minus the derivative of 5, which is a constant, so it will be equal to 0. Simplifying again, so we'll have 2x minus 5, and then we have here 3 minus 0, so it will be equal to 3, then plus 3x minus 7, 
then multiply 2 to minus 0, which is equal to 2. Okay, let's now distribute. 3 multiplied to 2x, so it will be equal to 6x. And then 3 multiplied to negative 5, which is equal to negative 15. And then plus... 2 multiplied to 3x, so it will be equal to 6x. And then 2 times negative 7 is equal to negative 14. Okay, let's combine like terms. So we have 6x plus 6x, which is equal to 12x. And then we have negative 15 minus 14, which is equal to negative 29. And that is the derivative of the given function. So we have... 12x minus 29.